Perhaps not in the manner they had planned, the well-known DEA has brought attention to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Mariah Kay recently attacked the Duchess of Sussex, claiming it was a calculated move for her to essentially bring her own press on board a private plane for their most recent editions. Mariah was unreserved in her condemnation of Meghan. The Grenadines, where Meghan and Harry were mentioned, aren't exactly known for their paparazzi activity, so it's clear that Mariah Carey was astonished by Meghan's boldness. Let us now analyze Meghan and Harry's recent behavior more closely. Above all, a lot of people were taken aback by their choice of holiday location. Season was puzzled even when they left for the West Indies in October. At this time of year, the West Indies is almost a ghost town for tourists. The best time to visit these picture-perfect islands is usually from before Christmas until early May, the other months occur around hurricane season, which is hardly the best time to travel to the tropics. The duo appears to be acting as though they are trying out for a low-budget espionage film, and observers couldn't help but note the hauntingly empty space. Their agenda was noticeably devoid of PDA and handholding. The real surprise was that Meghan and Harry have been making headlines lately, not because of their groundbreaking projects or humanitarian endeavors, despite the fact that these oddities encouraged wild conjecture about their underlying motivations. Consider their recent trip to New York, where Prince William's stay was notable for his accomplishments and ability to maintain his anonymity. For being at a symposium, Meghan and Harry were little noticed by the general public. Drew such a pitiful number of attendees that it confused many. It seems that their lackluster performance in New York has significantly followed their star power. Nevertheless, the charismatic pair chose to visit Atlanta, and rumors have it that they went to great lengths to create a story, even employing a camera to record their every step at the airport. The airport in Atlanta is one of the busiest in the world, equipped with strict security procedures, so it's not your typical travel center. Even well-known locals like Tyler Perry and Mariah Carey may travel through without drawing attention, as locals will verify. Hiding out photographers are as uncommon as hen's teeth. Speaking of Mariah Carey, the Grammy-winning superstar has found a buyer for her Atlanta property, even if the selling of it came with a significant loss. Remarkably, she highlighted the seclusion she experienced while living there, implying that the lack of paparazzi was a key selling factor. Meghan's attempts to elude the press it seems like spotlight has backfired badly. Upon arriving on the island of Canoan in a tiny aircraft, Meghan and Harry's trip caused a sensation and led to allegations of obvious hypocrisy. When calling the pair complete hypocrites, royal biographer Angela Lvon didn't hold back. She accused them of taking advantage of their vacation in the Caribbean to make connections with Hollywood heavyweights and millionaires. Lavon's analysis came to a close by saying that Meghan and Harry are supposed to be laughed at by the very groups they previously sought to be a part of because of their disastrous attempts to pursue the affluent and famous, whether in Hollywood or on the Caribbean islands.